Hey there, how are you, Dr. Dave, the RV dummy? I've got a great question from a listener. Let's take a look right now. Hey Dave, thanks for taking my question. Really appreciate it. Really love what you've done with the RV dummy channel. Been watching it all the time. My wife and I really enjoy your segments. So we've got a question for you. We were driving the other day uh, on the interstate right outside of Albuquerque. To make a long story short, we got pulled over by the police. And it seems like lately, uh, our rig, our big rig has been an attraction for law enforcement. Any tips you might have for us? Thanks. Hey, thank you so much for that question, for sending that in, for sending the video. I really appreciate it. And not only that, it's good to see that I've got some younger viewers now as well, too. You know, we think of RVers as, you know, kind of like people like a little bit older, my age, getting ready to retire or retire. But it's good to see somebody that's, I don't know, I'm guessing 30 or 40, something like that, that's... Um, into the RV community, so thanks, for, and I'm gonna answer your question right now. So um, not only that, what I'm after you sent it in, I, I kind of came up with um, 12 reasons, 12 very common reasons why you're gonna get pulled over in your RV by law enforcement if you're doing one of these 12 things. So let's go right through them, be very careful. And by the way, if you like what you see, subscribe press subscribe and enable your notifications that way our cat will be able to eat tomorrow morning breakfast so please subscribe right there we really appreciate it. okay here we go uh, because i am the rv dummy of course so um, these are not in any special order but there are 12 reasons the police could pull you over in your rv number one is speeding yes that's right there are speed limits posted for every road and if you are going over the speed limit you are risking getting pulled over by the police. So, you know, something that I've learned over the couple years, the two and a half years that I've been into RVing, and of course, I'm the RV dummy. I've not been doing this 20 years, but just two and a half years. Slow it down, be careful, play it safe. Not only will you burn less fuel, not only will your rig be um, healthier if you go a little bit slower, but you'll enjoy the ride so much more. Why are we in a rush? One of the reasons I got into RVing and Yoko, my wife got into RVing together with our cat is that we want to take it easy. We want to relax. We want to enjoy. We want to have fun. So slow it down. Be safe. Don't go crazy. Number two is you could get pulled over if you're going too slow. That's right, there are minimum speeds posted on the highways and you can't be going 35 miles an hour on an interstate highway when trucks and big rigs and things are pulling or like zooming by. No, you gotta play it safe. Go with the flow of traffic, staying within the speed limit, of course. Play it safe and you should be okay. You'll probably be fine. Number three, you'll get pulled over if you're using a phone or a device, if you're talking on something, if you're texting away, don't do that. I do use the phone sometimes while I'm driving, but I will 100% of the time put little earbuds in there and have the phone over somewhere else that I'm not using it to type on or anything like that. It is very unsafe, it is against the law, and you will not only get pulled over, but um, you will cause an accident and damage vehicles damage lives and things like this so please be very careful and again like i said that goes do not text whatever you do it can wait it can wait pull over before you even press one little button on your phone pull over don't do it i'm telling you all it takes is a second or two something happens you're out of control and then you end up in big big trouble please don't do it number four um you'll get pulled over for driving in a hazardous manner if you're being aggressive if you're tailgating if you're swerving in and out of lanes trying to pass people don't do that please be a good driver be respectful be peaceful drive the speed limit and don't be aggressive and don't bother other people while you're driving okay number five if you have any kind of equipment violation such as lights out uh, a license plate not being visible, uh, something just something open, just you, you know what I mean. If you, um, when you're on your something you're towing, maybe maybe the, the you didn't hook up the power, the electricity properly, and maybe lights are not um, on on that. There are so many different equipment problems. You got to make sure your equipment is working. It's okay. Lights working, they're supposed to. You can see your license plate. Your um, all that stuff. Make sure, make sure you're okay there because otherwise. It's a prime target for you to get picked up if something is just not working, not looking right on your RV itself. Number six, 
if you fail to signal a lane change, you're driving along, you say, I'm going to get into the middle lane, but you, you don't put your signal on. You want to pass a vehicle and get back into the right lane or wherever you might be. If you, you've got to use your signals all the time. Even if there's very little traffic on the road, you're going to get picked up if you don't do that. So please obey the traffic laws. It sounds simple, but that's why people are getting picked up. They're just maybe not doing everything. Um, let's see. Number seven. This is crazy, but people are doing driving in the wrong lane. There are designated lanes for sometimes for certain types of vehicles, and you've got to be in the right lane. And certainly, don't be going down a one-way street the wrong way. You're definitely going to not only kill somebody, but probably get picked up by the police at the same time. But again, make sure you're in the right lane. If you, if you don't be in the HOV lane if you're not supposed to be there. Don't be in the, the fast lane if you're not supposed to be Drive in the right lane. It's not that difficult. Number eight. If you've got outdated registration, outdated stickers on your license plate, outdated license plate, things like that, you're going to be discovered. You're going to be found out. Don't do it. Make sure all of your information is up to date, including um, not only registration, but, but any kind of inspections you have to have done, uh, uh, emissions control. Make sure your stickers and your documentation is all up to date. Number nine failure to wear a seatbelt. If you're not strapped in the right way, not only are you jeopardizing your safety and your health and your life, but you're going to get a ticket for that. You're going to get pulled over and you're going to get a ticket. Not only that, if the passenger or passengers in your rig are not strapped in correctly, you can get pulled over for that as well. Yoko and I just moved to Utah, from, to Salt Lake, as you probably know, from the East Coast. And we so to get our Utah driver's license, we had to like go through and study and take the written exam. I mean, I felt like I was 16 again, but you know, we had to take the written exam. Thank God it was an open book test or I might have failed it. But one of the things was, and it's the same thing in, in most states, if a passenger is not wearing a seatbelt, the driver, the operator of the vehicle can get fined. I think in Utah, it's something like two or three hundred dollars something like that so don't take the chance and again always be safe number 10 you'll get pulled over for any type of suspicious activity so in other words if you're driving down the road having a good old time passing a joint to your wife don't do, number one just don't do stuff like that anyway if you're gonna get stoned wait till you get to a can no i can't say that anyway some states, you, it is legal in certain areas, to, to, but again, don't be driving down the road doing something suspicious that somebody's going to see something, either report you or a policeman will see it, pull you over. Don't do it. It's not worth it. You're going to get into trouble. Number 11, going through a stop sign, a red light, pedestrian crossing, railroad gates that are coming out, anything like that. If you do that, if you think you're going to be able to sneak through because you're pressed for time, don't do it. It's not worth it. Number one, again, you're going to get a ticket. But number two, more importantly, you're going to, you're going to get somebody killed or injured or you're going to, at the very worst, you're going to get your rig ruined. Don't, just don't do stupid things like that. Obey the law. That's what we do. Obey the law. Number 12, this is one that is super, super important. And I Yours truly got pulled over for this about two and a half years ago, and it was out of ignorance. I did not even know the law existed two and a half years ago, but um, ignorance is no excuse because you get pulled over and you're still you're in trouble. Um, luckily, I was able to talk my way out of it a little bit. I got somewhat of a ticket, but I'm talking about referring to the pullover law. So in most states now, if there is an emergency vehicle on the shoulder, pulled over to the right, a policeman, ambulance, fire, um, a truck that's um, that's in distress or a car that's in distress, and like a tow truck is there or some type of help. Um, you've got to pull over, as long as it's safe, you've got to pull over away from that right lane and into the middle or into the next lane over um, and get away from the right lane. It's a law in just about every state, I think. You've got to do it. And not only is it a law, it's the smart thing to do. Too many people were getting killed or seriously injured by drivers whizzing by in the right lane and snapping them or doing something like that it's just so you got to move over now if you don't if it's not safe to move over if the next lane over is totally crowded it's not safe to move over slow down seriously slow down and that will be okay as long as the officer can see that you 
couldn't, there's no way to move over. Now, if you do get in trouble, if you do, do get pulled over for this, the fines and the court appearances are very, very serious. They are not messing around with this move over law. You've got to know about it. I know it's not brand new. I was ignorant to it, but um, you have to do it. You have to pull over and please be safe. Those are my 12. Young man, thank you so much for sending the question in. I don't even think you gave your name in the question, but you just sent it in to me. I appreciate that. And again, make sure if you have not subscribed yet, hit the little subscribe button right there. Um, and if you have a question, that you would like answered, feel free to either write in like we've done in the past or send me a video or an audio. I'll try my best to get it and we'll we'll take care of it. But um, having a community of RVers like you guys is, is just the best thing. We are, we're all here to help each other, to support each other, and most importantly, to have fun. Our, RVing is fun and we don't want it to be stressful. We don't want you to get in any trouble anywhere. So that's why the RV Dummy is here to help you. That's right, you your RVing travels and we are a sense of we have a sense of community here I appreciate each and every single one of you see you next time I am Dr. Dave also known as the RV Dummy